So Rachel, you're finally having oral surgery on the 22nd of Wednesday. And you haven't had a consultation for it yet. Uh, most of the time they usually do uh, oral, I mean, uh, consultations before surgery. That's usually how the system works in general. Every time there's an actual person going in for surgery, they do a consultation first. That's usually how the world well, works. And you haven't had a consultation yet. Ironic. That's just very, very ironic because they usually tell you questions of what you're gonna go for and what you're gonna, what they're gonna do and how they're gonna do it and what you're gonna feel and what the whole chalupa, the whole enchilada, yeah, exactly. They'll tell you everything you really need to know about the whole procedure, and they haven't said nothing. That's just very ironic. And what do you think about that, Dim Apples? Great. Right? And that's kind of uncalled for if they don't do a consultation to tell you what you're going to feel afterwards and what to expect and what you can do. And they usually tell you everything that you really do need to know about everything. And it's just weird. And, you know, it's just not right, you know? It's like, Unconditional, right there. But yeah, right. You're getting in trouble for doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. From the manager at the group home. Right. Tells you to do something, you do it. Yeah. You get in trouble for it. Correct. That's when you lost your Ron made you lose your computer for a year. For a whole year. Yeah. I'm gonna. Take your computer away because you were following orders. <laughs> you obeyed the manager. Right. And then you get in trouble for it. Exactly. That's what happened. And yeah. and they put me through shame just because yeah. of it. Because you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah, I went through a lot of chaos just because of that. Just like Lance, he betrayed you. Right. Yeah. Oops. Because I'm kind of a tall person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a bit. Of, you know, unsettled yeah, about two those people areas. You over. Right? The manager and Lance. Yeah, what can go wrong? <laughs> it's just kind of weird, that's all. I really want a good life, but it's just kind of weird. I'm going to have a meeting on the 23rd of February. And Pat and Ron both don't forgive people. <laughs> Seems like anyway, yeah. they're just like, you know, just they're so shallow. I <laughs> know, so right? Yeah. 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 It's just kind of wrong, that's all. So, how you doing, Rachel? I'm sure you can't wait to get a newer car someday, huh? A newer car. You know what is so weird is, um... There look, I mean, uh, well, I went to look for apartments like last Monday or so. I mean, for like Section 8 first, you know, but there were look, I was going to see these one new apartments that Joanne showed me on somewhere in Zuni, and it's a really new facility, but, you know, like for, like, like lowest payment was like around $600. Yeah. Around six hundred and. Well, X. Well, um. Let's see. The victim's blue pickup truck was involved in an Let's see. Well, um. Well, join as the. What she took. Well, let me think about this. I don't know how Section Eight works, but I'm going to do an application first of all, and. And there's waiting list for Section Eight. Yeah, there is actually. Oops, I want to make sure it's... Uh, Lance, I mean, uh, your father's ex-girlfriend, Penny, she's on Section 8. She doesn't pay that much. Oh, it's wow. Like hundreds of dollars a month. Right. And she has a really nice apartment. And she made me look at these apartments, and you need, like, a... 
even though it was weird, like, even though I make about $17,000 a year, yeah. and they want something like about above twenty to $22,000 a year at those new apartments. Wow. But like, yeah, and they want like eight check stubs and, you know. You're better off getting Somerset apartments. Because <laughs> they don't expect that much. I know, and, and plus a 1500 deposit down. 15 what? Fifteen hundred dollars deposit. Yeah, I know. It's just like my mom, home in Georgia. Right. It's just weird. That's all. thirteen hundred. I mean, I don't mind having Section A, but I want something you know I can afford. Yeah, I know. Like uh, you know. Yeah. If I want to, you know, have a a sustained life. Yeah. Apartments were nice, or. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not too bad, though. One bedroom or whatever or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I just want to, you know, have a good life, you know, happy life and something, yeah. you know. I know. But yeah. You know, especially like on Sky Management. Yeah. They have some, you know, good quality on values of places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could do that. Or especially you got the brochure. Huh? Section eight. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Or HUD housing. Because Tanya, she was on Section 8. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But this, on Section 8, I need to find my birth certificates and all that good stuff. And like a birth certificate? i got to find it. Oh, wow. I just got to find it and some other stuff as well. If you can't find it, you can apply for it. I know we're online. Like that? Yeah, I can do that as well. California. Right? Yeah, it's true. In the hospital. Which is UCB, uh, University Davis, hmm. yeah. California, Sacramento. Right. Yeah, yeah I know. Seriously. Yeah. Yep.